What's up everyone? It's your favorite real estate agent, Ed Yannette, in beautiful Savannah, Georgia. Today's video is something that we all need living here on the coast, and I'm sure there's a bunch of people in Texas wish they had one of these. It's about the installation of a whole house generator. So watch and enjoy. I think you'll learn something, because I know I did. And please share this video and like it, and leave any comments you have below. I'd love to hear from you, and I will respond back to everybody's comments. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And in advance, thanks for watching. All right, all right, it's Ed here at 7620 Central Avenue. For those of you who follow my um, Facebook page or follow the real estate market out here in Isla Hope, you might recognize this house, but I sold this house a couple of months ago. And um, my dear old neighbors, Deb and Jim, moved up to the mountains, and I've got some new neighbors that moved in from up north, and they are getting a generator. And I wanted to come over and show you and Tabitha, Tabitha, right? Yep. Tabitha, Tabitha, are you the owner or? General manager. General manager of? Generator Supercenter. Generator Supercenter. Now I know I saw the, the, the name of the gener is Generax. Generax. Yep. Okay, yeah, they're, the, they're the, the, I think they're the biggest, aren't they? They're the number one Generac dealer, um, generator dealer in the country. In the country, yeah, because I'm familiar with them. But, um, but anyway, I saw this this morning, as I just said in my little intro, that um, these guys were putting it in and... Um, I wanted to, uh, uh, I wanted to just kind of ask a couple questions and kind of see how it works. Tabitha, explain to me, I think the first thing they did, I saw them yesterday put a, a concrete pad in, right? Yes, so depending on where the house is located, whether or not there's a flood zone or any flood requirements, um, we do our own poured concrete slabs. We okay. also do custom aluminum built stands. Um, if the home is not in a flood zone, then the generator itself will come with a four inch concrete precast slab that the generator anchors down to in uh, three different locations to make it weatherproof so it's not going to fly away with the biggest windstorm that you guys get coming around. And um, so what, what, how did you choose this location just because this is the closest to the, the electrical service or so we do free on-site estimates so we have our generac sales reps who come out and meet with the homeowners and there's a couple of different factors that determine the generator placement so one of those factors is going to be one aesthetics where does the the consumer actually want the generator to go and then the other part of it is going to be their site plan, where can the generator go for permitting reasons. Mm -hmm. So the reason we picked this location is because of its location to the electric meter, as well as its location on the site survey map of the plot of this home. Well, and it's perfect because I see the gas and I'm assuming it's gas, right? That's correct. So this machine is a dual fuel machine. So it can be ran on either natural gas or liquid propane. Okay. But I mean, but the reason why I said that is because the gas meter is right there mm -hmm. and the electrical meter is right there. So, so I mean, this, this couldn't a, be any more perfect. It couldn't be any perfect, yes. Yeah. So most of our turnkey installations come with the first 20 feet of electrical footage and the first 20 feet of natural gas or propane footage. Oh, so this is built into this the is pricing. Eight feet. Kyle, right? Kyle. Kyle, all right. What are you putting in there? Is that the. These are Polaris connectors. This is what actually connects the ATS to go into the power in the home. It's gonna come from uh, Georgia Power or whatever the power company okay, that's is. That's the power, the weatherhead, the power line, right? Yes, the weatherhead comes through just like it always does. It'll come through the meter, but instead of going from the meter directly into the home, mm -hmm. it's gonna come from the meter to the top of the ATS. You have your main disconnect for your home, and this is what actually transfers you from utility to generator power, depending on you know, if you have utility power, mm -hmm. if the power is off, uh, the power will come in through here, come out through here, and into your home. Gotcha. So this is, I mean, I always call them a transfer switch, right? Is yes. that, I mean, is that That's layman's it's term? A, a, it's a transfer automatic, switch? Automatic okay. transfer switch. Okay. So it does everything by itself. Power, power goes out. How long does it take for this thing to kick on? Anywhere between 5 to 15 seconds. Okay. Wow. That's yes. pretty quick. Very quick. You, you, you blink too long, you won't even realize you're out of that power. <laughs> The hope is you won't have to reset your clocks, but that's not always a guarantee. <laughs> 15 seconds. Okay, that's awesome. All right, now, this is a 2200 KW. 22,000. 22,000. 22,000 KW. And so explain that to me. What is that? So the 22 KW, um, Generac starts out anywhere between a 7.5 KW, and then they go up. 
um, depending on the load that the house requires to run. So when the sales rep comes out, he'll actually sit down with the consumer and find out a game plan of what in the house do they want to power when they're in the event of a power outage. Okay, so this one, I think you said will we'll do the, uh, the entire house, correct? And now it's 2200 kW that doesn't seem like it's big enough. No, this actually this unit is going to power the entire 200 amp panel inside this residence including their AC unit. And top of this is a huge house. I mean, cuz I sold this house, I did videos, I've been inside, it's got a pool, it's 2900 square feet. So this little generator which yeah, it's it's not it's probably the size of two large rubber mates. I mean, it's not. This is not a big unit. It doesn't have a very big footprint on so the residence. So this property. little thing will will do everything. And how does it know? What I mean, how, yeah. I mean, twenty two. I mean, that's that's amazing. So essentially, what's going to happen is Generac builds an external device. It's called an SMM delay module. It's a smart management module, and what that does is it gives us the capability. And they come in two different sizes: a 50 amp and a 100 amp. Mm -hmm. And it gives us the capability to put those delay modules on some of the bigger pool items in the home. So like the, the pool, pump. the pool you don't really need on. I mean, if it were me, I would shut that off. I mean, that's most kind of a, yeah. most consumers do. So but your AC that it runs the AC is amazing. Yeah. Yep, so we'll install one on a pool pump. We can install them on hot water tanks, especially the tankless ones that have a little bit of an energy draw. Um, we can install them on AC um, delay modules. So, uh, so then disconnect. what that, that, I guess for just in my mind, it's like a smart switch that tells, okay, we're running the AC and a freezer. We can't turn on the coffee maker and the whatever. You know, so so this thing regulates where the power goes. Exactly right, okay. except for it's a little bit backwards. So it'll allow you to run everything else, but anything that has a delay module, oh, it'll cut that oh, item off. Oh, oh, so I got you. Delay module. Okay, I got you, got you. Okay. And now, I think we already talked about this, but this one is going to be hooked up to the gas meter, which is right there That's in, front of the, in front of the boys. And, um, yeah, this one, as far as insulation, this was easy. So there's a couple of things that when we come out and we're doing um, the actual site site um, plan with the sales rep and the consumer that we're going to look at. The first thing being, if you can take a look at that gas meter itself, mm -hmm. a lot of times we have to get Atlanta Gas involved because we have the engineers take a look at the gas meter itself to make sure it is the right size to fuel this generator. Mm -hmm. So with this house, that gas meter has already been reviewed by an engineer in Atlanta, and they said that that gas meter does not need to be upgraded. That's awesome. All right. The, the million dollar question is, what does something like this usually run? So we actually have a showroom on Abercorn with our price tags right on the wall. So for 22KW, the starting out turnkey pricing um, on full installation, the machine and the install, will start you out about $11,200. Okay. All right. Now, I will tell you right now, this lucky homeowner also got a $1,000 10-year manufacturer warranty for free because that's the oh. special we're running for the month of February and March. Okay. All right. So, call you guys right away. That's and it. I'll have all your contact information, um, you know, the phone Close number and everything, how we can get a hold of you guys' camera. Now, um, the app. We're talking about the app, and it starts, and it goes through test cycles and all that stuff. So, so this machine, unlike the portable machines that a lot of consumers have, the 5500, the 6500, yep, where they have to go out every month, crank it up for a couple of minutes, check the oil. Every month, yeah, every six months, a year, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should do it every month. I know, But yeah. if we're doing it every six months or a year, there's a possibility that when you go to crank it up, it might not work. That's right? it, yep. So this machine automatically test cycles for about five minutes every single week, and you get to do it without the consumer being involved at all. It automatically does it. So the app, the machine and the app sets it up all by itself. Yes. So when we turn this machine on for the very first time, we'll pick a date and a time that the consumer wants to have it auto cycle. And then the app that they have, which is the mobile link Generac app, what that will do is it will give them, once it runs that five minute test, it's actually going to text message the customer and say, your machine ran today and everything is good to go. That's It'll awesome. also have a big green light on the side of it over here. So they'll be able to see it when they're driving home, say, yep, my machine's green and good to go. And of course, we've got a helicopter coming over top right now. Oh, that's perfect segue. Yeah. Noise. So for the how, how, what do you think about that? You think I set that one up, huh? <laughs> So the helicopter's gone now. All right, yeah. So the noise. It's you said it's about as it's noisy about as, as a noisy lawnmower. As a riding lawnmower. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. Well, listen. This was fantastic, ma'am. Thank okay. you very much for uh, for doing this, boys. Thank you very much. Glad to help. Yes, sir.
But um, you guys have a great weekend, and um, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna do an, I'll do another a quick uh, snippet when they turn it on Monday. So you said yeah, right, perfect. Monday. That's not noisy at all. That's awesome. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. All right, guys. Th no, we're good. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks. We'll see you later. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. If you'd like to get a hold of me, please message me on any of the social media sites or call me at 912-844-9000. Again, it's 912-844-9000. Again, thanks for watching.